I often get questions about how to determine which of your legs you stand better on. People certainly know what it means to have pain or discomfort, that can tell them, but sometimes you want to develop a higher criteria for what it means to actually support yourself well on one leg. And so today I'm going to show you a little practice where you can determine this quality of support from your leg using your hands. All you're going to need is a kitchen counter or a table or a desk. I happen to have a bar behind me here, so I'll show you how it works. Now, of course, you know that when you stand, you're using both your legs. And of course, when you're turning, you're using both your legs too. Anytime one of your feet is in contact with the ground, it has the potential to participate in the support that it offers the rest of your body. Of course, when we walk, sometimes we go up only on one leg. And these habits that we have in the way we get on to one leg and on to the other, these particular habits are what we're going to look at. So all you have to do is stand and you're going to take your hands and place them gently on the counter or on the desk or on the bar. And the idea is to have your hands very, very light. We don't want the hands heavy. You don't want to be leaning on your hands. And that's because you want the hands to be sensitive. In this particular practice, your hands are going to be your antenna. So you place your hands gently and you slowly begin to lift one of your legs. Now as you lift, your hands are telling you something. What are they telling you? Well, if I come over this leg, I notice I don't really need my hands. I can lift them without any effect on the support that I have. But when I come over onto this leg, there's something about the way that I do it I kind of sag or sink onto this leg and I can feel my hands gripping onto the bar. And that's just a very simple equation. The worse the support I get from the bones below, the more I have to engage the musculature above in order to keep myself from falling. Yeah? So I want to be able to investigate how it is that I come over this leg and improve it and use my hands to help me in the process. So the question I ask is, how can I begin to come over this leg without putting extra pressure into my hands? And the first thing that I notice is that in order to do that, my back has to wake up a little bit. My spine actually has to begin to lengthen and lift. And then if I don't do that, if I do what I typically do, I kind of sag or sink or fall into the left leg, and that's when I start to grip with my hands. I can also learn from the side I do it well on. So if I come over onto this leg, I feel suddenly, ha, oh, I can feel the crown of my head lifting higher into space when I get onto this leg. All the way over, it's as if I just go up and up and up and up. I wonder what it's like over the other leg. So if I go back into my habit, and I really try to listen clearly, I see that from the very beginning, there's a collapse. It's small, but it's there. And I can feel it now, not just up here and in my neck and my chest, but I've got my antenna to help me. Huh? It's right there at the very beginning. So now I can use the sensitivity that I have with my hands to help teach myself perform the function differently on this side. And it's funny, all sorts of different things start to happen. I start to engage this leg differently. I even start to use the right leg differently to help me get on top of the left leg. Yeah? So the hands can tell me a lot. They can lead me into this very interesting question. How can I shift the weight in such a clear way so that I grow a little bit taller and I don't really need my hands? And that's the simple practice. You can do it even with your hands on a wall. You'll have the same experience. Over the leg that you don't support yourself so well on, you're going to feel that you need to lean on the wall or push on the wall. The leg that does a better job, you'll feel your hands are just very, very simple and light. And again, that's because of the quality of support below doesn't require the extra muscular engagement. It leaves those muscles free.